Right now, it's Fish Alive. Look outside at this U.S. Supreme Court where demonstrations were held all day. It comes less than 24 hours after a draft opinion was leaked proposing to overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized abortion. And we've been following this story since this 98-page draft opinion was leaked late last night. With that leak comes an outpouring of mixed emotions and a big question, what's next? Since we sent you this push alert just before noon today when Chief Justice Roberts confirmed the authenticity of the leaked opinion, here is what we have learned. Chief Justice John Roberts ordered an investigation into who leaked the document to the news organization Politico. That draft was written by Justice Samuel Alito. It would strike down Roe v. Wade on grounds the right to an abortion is not a federal constitutional right. The final ruling and opinion is not expected to be released until late June. The vote by the justices on this issue could change before the opinion is finalized. Chief Justice Roberts revealed this afternoon this document does not represent a decision on the case. Now, despite the document not being a final decision since that leak of the draft opinion, both supporters and opponents of abortion have been rallying outside the Supreme Court building. And this is a live look at the scene there now. You can see large groups of people for and against overturning Roe, and you can hear them. Political leaders, including President Biden, are speaking out. Our coverage begins tonight with News 4 Jax reporter Bree Isom. Bree spoke with a Jacksonville woman who had an illegal abortion before Roe versus Wade, and she expressed fear, Bree, those days before 1973 will return. She did, and she was extremely brave to share her story. Now, she didn't want to share her name or put her face on camera, but don't worry, the story is still just as impactful. She's worried as to what could come from this. The year was 1962 in New York City, 11 years before the Supreme Court passed Roe versus Wade, and abortion was illegal. But women were still having them in unsafe ways. I was um, 17 and a half, and I was raped and then wound up pregnant. This Jacksonville woman says she remembers a time when women didn't have a choice. Why did you decide that you wanted to get that illegal abortion? When I was raped, I was a virgin and I was a nice girl, a good girl. And back then, if a girl got pregnant, even if it was a fellow she'd dated for years, she was considered no good. This woman says her family supported her and helped her find a surgeon who performed the abortion secretly on a kitchen table. She says at the time she had just turned 18 and was 10 to 12 weeks into her pregnancy. Maybe I wouldn't make it. Maybe I would be bleeding out. They had no assurances of anything. What was going through your head? Were you hesitant or did you just no, want to get No, I was not hesitant because I was a good girl. I was a lady. I needed to go through the rest of my life feeling that I was pure and clean. Believe me, it wasn't fun. I can remember laying on that table. And I'm moaning because it was so painful. A lot's coming back right now talking about it. This woman is now 77 years old, and she says she's fearful for what could happen if a woman's right to have an abortion is overturned. You can't do this to women. You can't. I mean, you're going back in time. She says the memories of this day still haunt her. Every single Halloween afternoon, I can hear kids at the door looking for their treats, the little ones, and that's what I heard laying on that table. But she doesn't regret her decision. Take this into consideration. Don't take away the only thing that can help women today if they need help. This woman says that she's frustrated that we're having this discussion in 2022. And now I did reach out to Citizens for Life here in Jacksonville, a pro-life organization, and I asked them what they would think if Roe v. Wade got overturned. They said no comment. I'm reporting live here in Jacksonville. Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.